Where am I? It's so dark. And I'm so tired. Time to wake up. Rise and shine, Lord Corn. Oh. Flora. I... I must be in my bedroom. Yes. <laughs> of course, Lord Corrin. Where else? Anyway, I prepared your horse for you. You have practice this morning. Hmm. Oh, Lilith, you're here too. But I'm so sleepy. How late was I up last night? <laughs> well... Brace for a chill. I know just the thing for a slug a bed like you. Actually, never mind. I think you're going to have to wake up on your own for once. Um... What's that supposed to mean? You seem different somehow. Where's the ice magic I've come to know and loathe over the years? Come to think of it, where are Felicia and Jacob? They should be here. So, um... Hey! Flora, what's wrong? Still in bed? Wake up, lazy bones! <laughs> You're hopeless, aren't you? Your retainers have been awake and working on your behalf for hours. <laughs> Good morning, Sander and Elise. I'm sorry, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm just exhausted. <laughs> well, you better get it together, or you'll be stuck in here forever! <sighs> That's okay. As long as I have all of you with me, I'll always be happy. I don't mind staying here for the rest of my life. Well... Are you sure about that? Is that really what you want? Yeah. What do you mean? Of course! That's what Father wants for me, too. Listen. Carefully, Gorin. What do you think Father's true intentions for you are? Um... That's a weird question. I mean, he's my father. He gave me this castle and servants and raised me. Well, I mean, I guess you did most of the raising, but you know what I mean. He intends for me to follow in your noble footsteps. Naturally. Remember? He gave me that special sword and... and... Yeah. No! Yeah. Gods! I remember everything now! King Garen isn't my father. We... We were just battling in his throne room. Well done. So, you remember. What now? It can't be. Am... Am I dead? No. You can still go back, but you must make a decision. You can choose to remain here, with us. Or, you can go back and fight with your allies. No. My allies. Your hero is dead! Admit of it now, and your suffering will be minimal. Not on my watch. This is far from over, Garen. Corrin still lives. I know it. Truly. I too sense that Corrin is still present. Somehow. Very well. You have brought this upon yourselves! No. Ryoma, Azura! They're all in danger. What will you do? They're all waiting on you, Corrin. They believe you will rise again and fight alongside them. We stand together. Come on, Corrin. Wake up! I know you can do it! This is what we've trained for. You've got to keep fighting, Corrin. <laughs> Papa, don't leave me! I promise I'll be a good girl from now on. Please. <laughs> Look me in the eyes. It is not your time, Corrin. Open your eyes. Let me hear your voice again. 
It's my duty to help. I should've been the one to take that hit. We still need you to lead us. What are you doing? You have to wake up. I can't follow you into death. Please, listen. Your fate is not to die here. You will wake up. Stay strong. I won't give up. So you can't either. I'm with you. I want to fight at your side until the very end. You can't die. Let's do this. Perfection is within your grasp, Gorn. Keep it together. Are you going to let this overgrown salamander take you out like that? Get up. You okay? You're just playing dead, right? It's the oldest trick in the book. Boo. Hey, dum dum. If you die here, playtime is over forever. So don't do it, okay? I won't leave your side, no matter what happens. I expect more out of you. Rise, Corn. Your story can't end this way. Everyone. My friends, I need to go back. I need to keep fighting. Have you made up your mind, Lord Corn? Yes. I have to go back. It's so tempting just to stay here forever with all of you, but the world needs me right now. Is that so? I'm so proud of you. You've grown into such a fine young man. Go, save your friends and save the world from Garen. We will always be watching over you. Thank you. Flora, I'm glad you could help me wake up. One last time. <laughs> None of us will ever forget you, Lord Corrin. I'll treasure every moment we spent together. The warmth of your hands when you rescued me that day. The feeling of comfort when I perched upon your shoulder. If you ever feel lonely, just know that I'm out there somewhere. Thinking of you, Lilith, you're gonna make me cry. I will never forget you either. Your bravery, your kindness, thank you for everything. Big brother! Be strong, Corrin. I love you more than anything else in the entire world. Oh. Can you give a message to Leo and Camilla for me? This might be my only chance to tell them how much I love them. There's so much I want to say. Just tell them I'm always thinking of them, and that I miss them. And they better not fight anymore, or I'll be angry. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Elise. I love you too. I'll miss you. I must stop for us here, but you have so much more life to live, little prince. You can accomplish what we couldn't. You can save this world. I urge you to seize the future. Do it for those who cannot. It's time to say goodbye. Go now, my beloved brother. Listen. Sander, I finally understand why you made the choices you did. I won't let you down. I promise to make you proud no matter what. Corin. This is it. Goodbye, everyone. I must leave now. I know someday our paths will cross again. In this realm. Or beyond. I'm going back to fight. Not just for me. But for all of you, too. Everyone is waiting for me. I won't give up. I won't let Garen win. Yato, give me your strength. So, you awaken. Here I am. Thank you. 
trusted Yato Blade. I've been waiting for this. Everyone, Korn is revived! I'm so sorry. For worrying you. Xander, Elise, and the others helped me find my way back to you. It's hard to explain, but I'm back and more determined than ever to end this war. Let's have at it. Yeah, let's get him, Korn. Hold on a minute. It's always about you, isn't it? Just kidding. Brother, let's do this. I was so worried about you. No matter. This merely delays the inevitable. Ready your sword so that I may shatter it anew. We'll see. What? Not a chance. You see, Blazing Yato can never be destroyed. It is now fueled by the faith of Xander and Elise and everyone I love. No. You're wrong, Karen. This is the path I chose, and you were always meant to be at the end of it. I will bring peace to the world and right all of your wrongs, and I'm not alone. We are all prepared to sacrifice ourselves for the greater good. That's true power, as you are about to find out. I'll rip your heart out. The only thing I'm about to find out is where your body or your blade will break first! For Hoshido! Get ready, everyone. This is it. We can end this war right now! Join me and fight for the salvation of Hoshido and Nor! This is the end game. One more battle, and the war between Hoshido and Nor can finally come to an end. However, this one will not be easy. We are vastly outnumbered by Garen's minions. And on top of that, we still have to take down Garen in his true dragonic form. Oh man, this one is not going to be easy. But we've come a long way. We've grown a lot. If anyone can do this, it's us. Just one more battle, and we can all go home. It all comes down to this, guys. We have never had a challenge this great. There are more Norians here than we've ever battled before. And there's more on the way, too, but we have to act fast and defeat the evil king. Oh, man. This is not going to be easy, but you know what? I'm going to give it my all. Because we've come too far to lose. And with that being said, let's begin the battle. Listen. It's time, Corrin. I'm going to sing my song now, without restraint. You must act while its effects are at their strongest. <clears throat> Wait! Look me in the eyes! No. Don't worry. And don't try to stop me. This is my destiny. Understood. Very well. Just don't forget the promise you made to me. Trust me. I haven't forgotten. Believe me, I have no wish to disappear. I see. Then by all means, sing your heart out. <laughs> That's the first time you've ever done that. Huh? Done what? You. You asked me to sing. It makes me happy to contribute to the cause. <laughs> well, we need all the help we can get. But not at the expense of your life. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry to worry you. But here I go. I can't move! No matter! Simple tricks like this will not help you! Anacos, Great One! Give me power! Let's do this. 
first thing we need to do. The danger zone in this map is gigantic. We are quite literally swarmed by Norians on all sides, so we need to spread out and take them down. We cannot let Korn get interrupted when he goes to battle Garen. If that happens, I'm not sure if we can succeed. As long as we stay out of the danger zone, he will not be aggro. First up, Rajat. She has to take down this Berserker because if it gets to anyone with a spear, they are going to be in trouble. So come on, Rajat. Just one more battle. You've been fantastic for this entire adventure. I just need a little bit more. Awesome. Okay. God, I love that music. It's so amazing. This entire chapter, just everything about it is perfect. That's not perfect, but it's fine. We can still win. All right. Where do we want to send Hinoka? I think she can take down this hero. The maid is nearby, but I'm not really too afraid of that. I'm going to go for the guard, Naginata, since I just want to receive zero damage on a Hinoka. She does not have the most HP out of all of our units. In fact, her HP is very low, so the higher her defenses, the better. Okay, so let's think. I'm most afraid, though, of the Stoneborn. I'm going to bait by using Kana right there. Oh, I needed to get Kaldori over to that Bow Knight. I'm not sure when to... Hmm... Yeah, how much range does he... Okay, I can put Kaldori right here, take down the hero on the next turn, then go for the Bow Knight and finish him off. That Great Knight, uh, he's not really that intimidating. I'm going to put Asugi nearby. You can hopefully take him down with a Stink Shuriken. Korn is pretty much our trump card here. I'm going to use him. I know for a fact that if he has heals, he cannot die with Astra. So I'm going to use him to take down a majority of these units. Seven damage, not the end of the world. Our guard gauge will be filled. All right. Not bad. It could have been better, but I'll take it. Things are looking a bit better, but the thing that I am most terrified of, though, are the Stoneborn. Because they have so much range and they have so much HP, I'm going to try and get my Swordmasters over to them and knock them out. Unfortunately, if they focus down Corn, there's not too much we can do about it. The maid will do absolutely no damage. However, this is actually kind of bad. We will be fine. We will take zero damage, but our stats will go down. And here comes the first golem. Okay. Hopefully, the Stoneborn does not connect this attack. If he does, it could be really, really bad. No! Oh, God. It's actually really terrible. Okay. Here comes the next attack. However, this will be completely blocked, so it's not the end of the world. We do have Vantage, but the problem is you cannot use Vantage from far away. We need to take down these Stoneborn ASAP. I'm not really afraid of the Faceless anymore. Their fists honestly have nothing on Rajat. I'm not even remotely afraid. And just as I thought, an easy two-hit KO. Perfect. All right, the guard gauge is filled up on her. She should be fine for a couple turns. Now we just... Oh, my God. Okay, this is actually kind of bad. The Brave Sword will hit Korin twice, and he will go... Oh, God. Down really low. We need to get Sakura over to him as quickly as possible. We cannot let Korin die. He's the only one that can take down Garen. Okay. Not bad. We do have Physic just for this purpose. And Oh, goodness, please... Please, Kana, dodge it or something. We really need you for this chapter. We need our age. Oh my god, no. This is not looking good. The Dragon Fang will proc, but we can only heal up so much from the Dragon Stone. This is not good. This is actually turning really bad. We need to get heals on Korn as quickly as possible. Rajat is doing fine. She's just completely destroying absolutely everybody. I'm not worried about her at all. Kaldori, on the other hand, if we do get hit by this 10, it could be... God, we're getting really unlucky. That's fine. Next turn, or whatever, if the horse gets over here, we should be fine. The strategist is going to do zero damage. Not really sure why you went for Hinoka, but whatever. The Great Knight is coming too. Okay, we need to destroy that Bow Knight with Kaldori ASAP, but there's also higher priorities. Um, I just got to go for it. Hopefully, Raijinto can knock out this opponent. He can definitely do it. The crit was not necessary at all. Amazing. Ryoma. Now there's only a couple more Stoneborn we need to worry about. <sighs> okay. We just really got to get heals onto Korn. The thing is, if I use... Is it, uh, I got to get close to him. I'm not in range. Oh, this is really, really bad. Okay. I need to make the danger zone free so I can actually use Hinoka's Physic. The first part of doing that is knocking out these units. I really prioritize the one-hit KO on them, or just the one round. Hopefully Hinoka can hit. Well, she has 100%, so she's going to hit, but you know what I mean. She hit both attacks. I'm fine with that. We lost our guard gauge, but it's not the end of the world. Slowly but surely, we do need to destroy all of these units, though, because Korn cannot take... Oh, God. It's not going to be enough. Okay, what is... 
our best course of action, I really do not know. I know for a fact, though, the Sting Shuriken will completely destroy this Great Knight. But as I was saying, we need to make sure no Norians are near Garen. Because if they interfere and attack Korin, I'm not sure if we can win or not. So to minimize the chance of our failure, I'm just going to take the extra steps and make sure we win and take down every single unit we can. Attack... Uh, it is true... Asuki would be better in this scenario, but I really do not want to risk him getting knocked out by that rock attack. Come on, procs. Yes! We didn't get a proc, but we got the crit. God dang, Kana. Okay. We're doing okay. Our luck's turning around, and I really like that. <laughs> okay. I need to free up some space from the danger zone, though. The first step of that is knocking down this Bow Knight. There is no way he is surviving this, and right after... The hero will pretty much fall to Kalidori. Fantastic work, as always. Pretty much perfect, really, aside from that miss. So let's think. Um, Azura is in range of that hero. I do not want that to happen at all, so I will very gladly send Asugi over there. Fantastic lethality. Not really necessary, but I'll take it. <laughs> God, I just really want to win here. Okay, we're freed up. Nice. So now, if Takumi can just... Get free. Oh, God. I really need to take down that Stoneborn, but I don't know if that's the safe play or not. This is really risky. Um, Raja can easily run the heavens and just take down this Norian. We will take in some of their magic as well if we proc it. And we did. So that should be a... Oh, my God. That that hurt. Okay. <laughs> Raja wants some more limelight, I see. That's fine, though. Okay. The danger is... Okay, Takumi's safe now. That's all I wanted. Let's get Sakura nearby Korn and use Physic. Okay. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. Just a little bit more and we can win here. I'm going to finish off this maid. Actually, it would be better just to... I could use the Concoction. No, we'll be fine. I can easily take one more attack from either the General or the Stone... Oh my god. We won't even lose our guard gauge. Fantastic! If we ever needed a crit, it was there. Now we have our guard gauge, so if the Stoneborn comes for us, or the General, we will be protected. Let's sing to Sakura. Heal up Korn. Make sure he is full HP. We do not- we cannot lose him. He is too important here. God, I just really hope we win this. Okay. So far we're doing fine, though. There are some Wavering Lords coming from the north, so I need to be careful of them. The Massive Rock will get intercepted. Honestly, I prefer that over the General. The General might actually not be in range, so... I hope... God, I hope Scorn's gonna be okay. Silver Sword doing three. Absolutely pathetic. Get out of here. We will not get the one round, but that's okay. The Malignite is also going to do next to... Oh, no. It's gonna do five damage. God. Kana's getting a bit low. Asugi is right around the corner, though. He can help. Oh, my gosh. 13's a little bit too low, though. Okay, here's the Waverlord Lord, the Malignite. We need to take them down. We're going to heal for five. That's okay. I need to get someone over there as quickly as possible. It has to be Asugi or Hino... Eh, Hinoka makes way more sense. Yeah, if I use Hinoka here, we will get the attack stance with Kana, and that will pretty much seal the fate of the Dark Knight. I'm fine with that. Hinoka getting max level. Absolutely amazing. No mages are ever touching her. Awesome. Okay. Not the best level. I don't really care. At this point, it's kind of irrelevant. Get in there, Kana. Actually, no, we can't want... We'll be fine, though. He cannot do anything to either Hinoka or Kana. Really, we just want to eliminate this guy as quickly as possible. However, we cannot take much longer because there are sigils around the entire map that are going to be spawning in reinforcements. So we need to hurry now. What do I want to do next? The Malignite seems like the easy go, but that is going... I think that will put Takumi in a bad position. Hopefully, Rajat can just intercept the enemies to the north. That'll be an easy KO. Fujiyumi doing its job, defeating... Okay, he's actually safe. Fantastic. Let's knock down just a couple more faceless and also a maid. Okay, I actually kind of need to worry. I really hope that Korin can just take on all of these opponents. I'm confident that he can, but you never know. Hopefully, we proc Astra or Dragon Fang. I want to make sure we take zero damage. Rare Sight, we didn't get either, but we dodged the attack. That's just as good. Awesome. We got the one round. Now we just need to worry about this general. I'm really... Uh, he has a Silver Lance and a Brave Lance. Oh, God, that's actually not good. We do have Vantage, though, so I think we'll be okay. I can't put Azura... 
in the danger zone. Um, let's put Sakura north just in case. And God, I really gotta hurry. They're coming. Okay. Try pair up. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Uh, so he has a pair up now. There's only a couple enemies left on the map, and then we can attack Garen. The reason that we're doing this is because Garen's dragon veins do sap HP from around the map. And if we are over there, he is just going to heal more than we can ever do. Ren Heaven will take some of this maid's magic into account. One round. Absolutely perfect. Just a little bit more. Holy crush, he's max level. Raja did a lot of fighting in this chapter, it seems. Hey, it wasn't a one level, right? <laughs> okay. God, I just really... We've come this long, and we've never lost a unit. I can't lose one today. Come on, just tank it, Corn. Okay, hopefully... Okay, perfect. There's no way Astra will not be enough to finish this guy off, and we will get our guard gauge back 100%. Good, good. This chapter is going the way I wanted it to. I knew... Corrin could at least take down the general. I wasn't really too afraid of that. And honestly, what are you doing? Don't you know who created you? <laughs> okay. Just one more faceless to go down. And then after that, just a couple more. And we can take on Garen. Unfortunately, Garen is protected by that really strong general. So we're going to have to get past him. I'm thinking Takumi would be the best shot for that. Even though he has a bow, it should be enough damage to knock him out if he gets the crit. It's kind of bad to be banking on that, but I think he'll get it. Now we just gotta worry about this maid. So far, there are four units left. Garen, the general, two up here. As always, Rajat can easily destroy this guy from range. Okay, just three more, just three more. Let's knock down this maid. There's no way Ryoma can miss. He's been too great of a unit. He's gonna hit both of them. Come on, come on, come on, yes! Awesome. Another level up for Ryoma. I dig it. Just a little bit more, guys. We're almost there. Garen is so close. We just need a little bit more. Okay. We're going to heal Sakura. One more level up. It doesn't really matter. They're kind of pointless at this point in the game. I don't really care. Let's get Azura close to the throne, though. As long... Oh, God. No, we're actually going... He's going to activate a Dragon Vein next turn. We gotta take down that general. There's no way he can attack Korn when he's gonna battle. And, oh god, here it comes. If anyone is standing in this area at all, Garen will heal. So, either we win this turn. I don't know. Okay, I just really hope Takumi, please, please get a crit. I know you can do it. Yes, there we go. Okay, now we just need Korn take on Garen. Now, Garen does have the skill that does reduce skill-based damage and crits, which completely counters Korin. Yes. So we need to keep that in mind. Takumi also getting a level up, not terrible. Let's rally with Sakura and give as many buffs as we can to Korin. He's going to have to do this. And Azura, we're going to need you to sing one last time. It all comes down to this. Can we proc two skills in a row and defeat the evil king? God, I hope so. If not, I don't know if we're going to win this or not. Never forget, you chose this path. You chose death and defeat. You chose doom. Your death is at hand. We'll see about that, Garen. So to win here, we have to proc two skills back to- We got the first one, okay. Astra will not- Oh my god, a crit. That might just do it. Now we just need one more. His next attack will be completely nullified. It was only gonna do 30, even if it hit. But now it's going to do nothing. Just one more skill. And with that... Garen's fate has been sealed. This can be. These wounds. This can be. I refuse to accept defeat.
<laughs> I should have killed you when I had the chance. When you were a mere child. <sighs> then why didn't you, King Garen? Why? Tell me why, father! <clears throat> because you were my most precious pawn. I knew I could use you to get to Queen Mikoto. No matter. I feel at peace now. How long has it been since I felt like this? Perhaps this is what I wanted all along. The sweet release of death. My... My body was destroyed. My mind lost. Ever since that moment, I became something. Something. <sighs> what just happened? What did he mean by that? Was he already dead? Were those the delirious rabblings of a dying man? Or something more? Sander did say that father, I mean King Garen, had changed. I wonder. <sighs> At last, we can live in peace. Azura? <sighs> Please, tell me you didn't overdo it. You don't look good. My apologies. I'm sorry, Corrin. I promised you I wouldn't disappear. But I'm not sure I can keep my word. No. Please, you can't just die like this. We did it, Azura. We made your dream come true. But what's it worth if you never get to experience it for yourself? I'm at peace now, Corwin. I know that you and everyone else will be safe. That is worth everything. Will you listen to one more selfish request? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I want you to live a joyful life. Don't let this sour your victory. The war is over, thanks to you. A world of peace. That's the world we dreamed of. That's the world I risked my life for. And it was worth it. So it's your turn to make a promise, Corrin. Azura? No. anyone else I've lost so much I will keep my promise Azura I won't let your sacrifice be in vain everyone we have a lot of work ahead of us let's make the world a place we can be proud of again when those who fell watch over us they'll know they can rest in peace Azura sing for me again someday <laughs> <laughs> 